put her finger down if you went into this movie knowing absolutely nothing about it and about five or two minutes in you're like why the hell is there a uh, alien there like a predator there like what the hell is this you put pause on the movie and then you go and you google it and you realize there's actually a prequel to the predator movies and you're just like wait a minute what Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new, we do movie and series reviews with monthly wrap up tier lists with the occasional random ranking and game board content. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. So we are here to talk about a Hulu movie, uh, Prey, which is actually a prequel to Predator. This is actually the fifth installment within the uh, franchise. This is basically the first time the Predators uh, come to Earth. They're trying to, you know, find the apex Predator, trying to find the best warrior, basically, so they can, you know, fight them and defeat them, possibly defeat them, you know, because that's what they're here for. They're here just to fight. They're not here to hunt. They're not here for technology. They're not here to settle. They're not here for nothing. They are here to throw some hands. Like I said in the intro, I had absolutely no idea what this movie was about. I had just seen the poster and I just kept hearing people talk about how good this movie was. But I never went in to see what the movie was actually about. We are following Nauru, I think that's how you say her name, or we might just end up calling her the girl later on. Um, but she really does want to be a hunter. That's kind of like her goal. She wants to be out there and actually be able to provide for her tribe. She doesn't want to be stuck as a typical uh, woman. She is a very, very good tracker, but she's not the best hunter. Um, she, she tries, but she just can't, you know, do it, her, you know, quite right um now we do have like an older brother that is like the best one there in the tribe and of course we have the more supporting cast that you know we're gonna need for certain situations that are gonna be happening later on but basically the other tribe members well the young people the other hunters are not the best uh people they're very like very much bullies towards her like you're never gonna be a hunter you just need to go back and you know cook now the movie does start off pretty slow but it's still nice the movie itself generally is not even that long of a movie so it is under two hours I think it's like an hour 40 minutes with credit so it, it it gets to the point pretty quickly just like the original predator there's really not um too much like build up so again this is kind of like the first time the aliens step foot on earth uh we are again with the kamachi tribe um you know unlike in the 80s when we had like these machine guns we have just guns in general you know um here in the tribe we just have like arrows and and knives but i do like the scenery of the movie i think it is really nice the score is also really good um i do like the design of the alien of the predator the time period that we are in he does have like advanced technology obviously but unlike the movie you know from the 80s it was the 80s right i think 70s 80s um doesn't have like the what's it called the laser the plasma beams that are shooting everything is also pretty you know 17th century it's not like super advanced where if it did have like those plasmas those laser beams it would definitely take out the the tribe like this right so it, i like the way that it played with the time period that we are in and even though they do have their their investments, it was a lot of hand-on-hand -hand combat. So that was actually really neat to see this alien um, fight with, you know, whether it's this wolf, this bear, which I'm just going to stop real quick, did have pretty bad CGI on that. And um, that was one of my nitpicks. I was like, oh my god, no. Or them fighting, you know, one of the tribe members uh, here. It wasn't a lot of, like from a distance throwing something or you know laser beaming them or anything like that it's kind of like an underdog story a coming of age story and i thought it was really really good i truly enjoyed it a, a, a lot now since i have seen the movie i have heard kind of like mixed things here and there some people love it some people hate it and that's just generally how it is with movies um i can't necessarily rank the predator movies for you because again i haven't seen all the predator movies and the one that i have seen has been a hot hot minute and they pretty much all just kind of like convolute with each other that I wouldn't be able to put uh, them apart I'm not even gonna lie to you I plan on I, I don't 
plan on doing any kind of predator like ranking list or in any way before i do give you uh, my score if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new put a finger down if while you were watching this movie you can worry about that damn dog and you're like is a damn dog gonna die like is a dog going to sacrifice itself is the alien gonna kill the dog is the person gonna kill the dog like what's gonna happen to the dog is the dog gonna drown i don't know where did the dog go did it go down that like a uh, quicksand i don't know and you're just like yelling at the tv don't don't kill the dog don't kill the dog don't kill the dog and you were just like filled with anxiety I am giving it a large popcorn. If you've seen Prey, let me know down below what did you think about it. Did you like it? Did you like to hate it? Was it just not for you? How would you rank this within the other Predator uh, movies? Let me know down below. All right, guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.